Bricks and Minifigs is your one-stop shop for all things LEGO. Hit the link below to find a store near you. I'm Luis Rodriguez, and this is my build, the LEGO Museum of LEGO History. Uh, I was inspired by the Museum of Natural History in New York. Uh, I loved that place as a kid, and uh, I want to do something similar, but that, you know, reflected LEGO history. So I have 10 different themes represented here. Uh, Western, adventures, classic space, ideas, and a few others. And, uh, and then there's little bits of Lego history throughout and little displays, and uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun to build. Yeah, and I mean, that's what, the references to so many different themes is what makes this such a fun build. So if we can, let's maybe work our way kind of through each of those rooms. I love the Western one. That is my all-time favorite Lego theme there, so we can really? start right, right there, yeah. And then you just kind of go through each room with us. Yeah, so that was a lot of fun for me because some of these themes were in my dark ages. I didn't get to really enjoy them. Western and Adventures were two of those that I didn't really get to play with as a kid. So I had a lot of fun. That's my first Western set that I kind of modified there, the, uh, the sheriff's, um, I don't know, you would know better, I forget the name. The, yeah, like the sheriff's office set there. Yeah. And then the, the Adventures one I love, it's beautiful. So, um, And then the Classic Space, that was my favorite as a kid. The Galaxy Explorer was my favorite set. Uh, I must have built that thing and unbuilt it a uh, hundred times. So this gets kind of the larger room, both floors going here. <laughs> yeah, that one deserved, I mean, it's a big ship, so I needed it, but it also, that's, that's also matches significance to me in terms of its outsize there. And I love the way you did kind of the star effect with the black there. Yeah, that worked out pretty nice. I, uh, there's actually a gauge on how bright they are because they were super bright at one point. And it was, but, so I think I got the right brightness there. And uh, the lighting was very you know, interesting. I'd never done lighting before, so that was a, a challenge. But I'm pretty happy with the way the lighting turned out as well. So. And then we got the Ninjago room. Ninjago. Uh, we got the castle theme. We got Aqua Zone, Aqua Raiders, um, uh, Arctic as well and then going back the other way we have pirates and city so the the torch lighting i think is really nice in several of these rooms like ninjago and castle so you yeah. get that like flickering effect yeah. yeah there's flicker effect on all the fire effects going on uh the the aqua zone one also has a I forget what they call it it's like a fading where the lights kind of fade in and out give it kind of that you know sunlight through the water effect a little bit uh, for the, the castle one, how did you decide kind of what castle faction to represent there and what that would look like? Uh, kind of what I had also. And also the, the, the latest CMF line had the, the falconer. And so I, I love that piece, so I wanted to use that. I love all the, all the figure, animal figures, so I tried to include a lot of those, and obviously that came with one, so that's kind of... I, I don't know the factions all that well, so... <laughs> I don't know if I'm causing trouble by going with just that one faction or how that works, but... <laughs> what types of pieces for the, the underwater scene there did you use to kind of capture, like, coral and fish and stuff down there? Just, I had a, just whatever I could find. I just tried a bunch of different vegetation, and, you know, like you said, there's coral, there's, uh, there's leaves, there's all kinds of pieces there. I just thought whatever worked well and looked good under the blue light, so I'm pretty happy with the way that one turned out as well. You've got the great polar, polar bear down there and some nice Arctic yeah. stuff. Yep, I, uh, I got dinged on a comment. Uh, I changed the polar bear out from the traditional one that didn't have the eyes, but I like going with the eyes. So I made changes when I thought, you know, it was worth, uh, if I like something better, I made some changes. So I'm not that much of a purist, but uh, it was fun. I also have this model, this, this little uh, build right here is uh, the first Lego set that they did the, in terms of bricks is the automatic binding bricks. And they didn't have sets per se, but they had examples of what you could build with their brick set. And that's a representation of one of the builds in one of their first catalogs. So there's little, you know, the, the broken helmet. That's like a the iconic of broken of my, of my childhood. So, you know, so all these little vignettes in front also have some meaning like that as well. What, what do we have in the back corner there? You know, every good museum has a gift shop. So this one has a pick a brick wall. Um, dad's paying with his gold card there. Sister's getting some bricks, but I don't know. The little kid must not have done his homework or something. He's not getting anything. So uh, there's all kinds of little scenes throughout like that. You know, I enjoy using minifigures to tell little stories. So throughout the whole build, there's lots of little stories like that. What is what is this kind of build represent over here? So that. That represents my first large-scale mock that I did after coming out of my dark ages, which was a 
an Aztec Tempo that I did a few years back. Um, I just thought it'd be a nice nod to my own little personal Lego history. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just a little micro scale version of that. And then of course the best display. Right. <laughs> yes, the, the famous goat. Uh, there's still only one set that made that goat, so it's a sought after part that's hard to find. And uh, uh, he's made it into a few of my mocks because it's a good piece and I gotta use it as much to get my money's worth. But uh, so yeah, he's uh, well encased there. Under watch by a security guard. <laughs> we see here uh, with this poll a little civic activism going on yes. there. <laughs> so when I first posted this build online, the number one complaint I got from a lot of people was why didn't I include Bionicle? Uh, Bionicle is just not, it was not something that I got to play with, so I didn't think about it. I have nothing against Bionicle, but that was my nod to those fans who really wanted to see Bionicle. I added a, a Bionicle protester. And then we have the two rooms down there, so Pirates, which is fantastic. What is that background there? Uh, so I found these, the backgrounds, I found them on a stock website. You know, just illustrations that I thought fit the themes well and had enough cartoon look, but without being too realistic or too simplified. So I thought they worked really well, and I'm happy. You know, these displays in the museums, they have those painted backgrounds, and that's kind of what I was trying to replicate. And the, the last room is just kind of the classic modular city type feel. Yeah, it's just the city, you know, exactly that. It's just a classic city build. There's a combination of some sets there. Uh, the donut shop was from the police station, I think. And then the other one came from another city set, the Lego store. It's kind of a portion of that. So uh, some of them come from sets, some don't. You know, some, some are more uh, just my own build. But they all have a little bit of the classic sets that they come from. What is located in this corner over here? So that so I've done a few heist builds, just little mocks that I've done with heists or this or that. And a buddy of mine, when I finish this, he goes, where's your heist? I go, all right, I'll add a heist. So for adventure fans, you know, there's a, a donated section there that's getting put together, donated by Varen Bon Varen over there. And so after that's being used as a a way of breaking in, changing into guard uniforms. I don't know what the plot is, but there's some kind of nefarious plot going on here. We have Baron Von Baron uh, hiding over here in his not so good disguise. <laughs> and then Johnny Thunder has left some kind of big gala event to, uh, uh, he, he knows something's afoot and he's here to thwart whatever plan is going on there's, but there's always nefarious happenings That's behind the scenes i know i don't know any more details i don't know what they're planning to steal but something's up so do you know the total number of minifigures or pieces in the whole build it's got 328 minifigures 16 different animals uh 35,000 parts okay. about yeah. i know it's over 35,000, uh and it represents and 10 themes we didn't include we didn't talk about the ideas is represented by the t-rex in the front so that's, uh, those are the 10 themes, yeah. And I, I love your design for things like the floor and furniture. Some of those things just kind of blend into the background, but the, especially the second floor design with the round, the round tiles interspersed with the one-by-one one gold yeah. pieces. Yeah, thanks. Uh, that, that, I, I enjoy doing stuff like that. It's kind of busy work, and I just kind of zone out, and it's like a little bit of zen moment. So I, I wanted them to look similar but not the same. So the colors are the same, but... You know, uh, the, that pattern worked out nice on the top. And how did the staircases come together for you? Those are tricky. Those took me a little while to figure out. Um, a lot of trial and error. Um, but I finally got them to work. Uh, if anyone goes to my Instagram, I actually did a little tutorial there how I did it. and explained exactly how I put them together. So you can see that there. Um, but, yeah, they worked really well. They're very stable. Sometimes putting them together is a little tricky. You got to hold them down, but once you get them all in and lock it down, it's 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 very stable. What pieces did you use for this big roof on the top? It's all door frames, window frames, and windows, and a little bit of technique for the beams. Um, my initial thought was just like in the museum in New York that has the blue whale hanging from the ceiling to represent the idea theme. I was going to hang the Saturn V. Uh, it didn't work out. It was just too heavy. I couldn't remove enough weight to make it really work with that just. That is very large, so it's and heavy. <laughs> it would have looked awesome, but it also obstructed the view of the whole second floor. So it didn't really work out. Um, so I just left it with just windows, and it's, it's not. It doesn't weigh a lot, so it, it holds together fine. 
And how do those individual rooms there fit into the build? Are those kind of each their own build and they just slide in there? Or how does it come together here when yeah, you set this so up? So each, each diorama is, a, is like a drawer. I can pull them out. Uh, I have a good friend of mine that built a Rock Raiders one that I got to swap. When he brings it to me, I'm going to swap it out. But, uh, yeah, the idea is that eventually I'll make some more of these and I can just swap them out over a weekend or whatever at another show. Uh, for this one, I only brought these 10, but, but I want to make some more. Okay. Do you plan to expand on the museum building itself to include other parts of Lego lore and history? I'm thinking about it. I have thought about doing the exterior and, like, a city street scene on the other side. Maybe like a gift shop, a better, a bigger gift shop kind of thing. So it's possible. I just don't know if I have the room to do it, but uh, I might. Well, this is fantastic work here. I love all the different references to older and newer themes and just all the thought you've put into this here. The lighting effects are fantastic. Where did you get those lights from? Uh, they're from lightmybrick.com. Okay. Yeah, so they're, they're great. They work great. Um, easy plug and play. So I ha this is the first time I use lighting in a build. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out, and it was very easy, and everything worked just like I expected it to. So I, I highly recommend them. Perfect. Keep up the great work. Can't wait to see what you do in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.